Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Jimmy Butler appreciation video because at the end of the day, one of our former players has done something that not a lot of people will ever get that experience to do and he has led his team into an NBA Finals. Now, of course, it's not with the Bulls, and I feel like a lot of people might discredit this video, but I don't care, because at the end of the day, he's one of our own, and until his career is over, and even beyond that, he will still be one of our own. He is a Bull inside, and he's going to show his fighting spirit against the Lakers. Will he win that NBA championship? We're going to have to wait and see, but here is my Jimmy Butler appreciation video. Let's do it. What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Jimmy Butler appreciation video. At the end of the day, one of our own has ended up making his way into the NBA Finals and it feels like it's my duty as a Bulls fan whether you guys like this video or you don't like this video or you don't even care for this video. I feel like it's my responsibility to at least make this video and show appreciation to someone that has done so much good for the Chicago Bulls. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on. At this time of recording, we are only three subscribers away from 90, 190, and we are 13 subscribers away from the big 200 goal. It's a very big milestone for me, of course. This is the first year of my YouTube uh, uploading and making it to 200. In my opinion, it would be a very successful year. But without further ado, we're going to go straight into this, man. Let's talk about Jimmy Butler. One of our own. Look at the start of his career, first of all. Was barely even a player that people knew about. But suddenly, his stock started to rise. Every single day, he got better. He worked hard. He was a workhorse for the Chicago Bulls. And he he did not deserve that. Like, he was not one of those people that was, was granted the opportunity from the very beginning to get a starting role and prove himself. He had to work his ass off to get to where he is today. And he was a player that barely got any minutes for Chicago was often considered a player to just uh, send to the D League at the time or maybe even just release him he just wasn't that type of player but the Bulls clearly saw something in this guy and his mentality alone is what gave him the opportunity to get better and better and better and better and all of a sudden within a few years he's a, he's the starter for the Chicago Bulls he's a starter and then he works his way to becoming an all-star he works his way to becoming our best player then in the end man although it's not for the Chicago Bulls he's managed through different teams to get better and better and find his way into the NBA Finals leading his team to an NBA Finals now let's talk about it, man. Obviously, it, it sucks that it wasn't with Chicago, but at the end of the day, whose fault is that? It's definitely not Jimmy Butler's. At the end of the day, there was clearly past management issues that led to Jimmy Butler and the Chicago Bulls parting ways and often Jimmy Butler getting traded. And of course, if that was our current management, I would see this thing completely differently. But at the end of the day, Jimmy Butler has managed to find his home in Miami and ended up getting into an NBA Finals. I don't think you guys understand how big this could potentially be for, for a Bulls fan watching, but also for those Bulls players back, back in Chicago, wherever they are, looking at a former Bulls player, knowing that that could be them someday. But this time, it's going to be for our franchise. And... Once a bull, always a bull. I think we have that mentality here. If we have that with Derrick Rose, once a bull, always a bull. Welcome him home with open arms. Joe Kim Noah, who's also been linked to, to coming back to the Bulls. Once a bull, always a bull. Open, welcome him with open arms. Jimmy Butler has this exact same respect, in my opinion, than those guys. He would be welcome back to Chicago. And of course, we're not going to be talking about that for a long time because that's probably not going to happen until the to end of the, his career, like he said. But I feel like we should be happy for him, man. I really do. Again, this video is going to get discredited. People are not going to care about this video as much. But I feel like that... With our players, the ones that we've taken care of and the ones that have taken care of us, Jimmy Butler has taken us to success, has taken us to the playoffs when we had no reason to make the playoffs. With that team with Ronda and Wade that just couldn't shoot threes. Overall, he took that team to the playoffs. And 
He has done so much for this franchise. He's called out all of the crazy things with Fred Hoiberg, with the management and everything. All of that, he's called out this franchise for. And overall, we're sitting here today in a better situation because of the things that Jimmy Butler did and because of the things that our owners decided to change, because of the things that Jimmy Butler said way early on before we could even discuss about firing Gar and John and Fred Hoiberg and all of these situations. Jimmy was talking about this from the very beginning, not necessarily saying fire these guys, but there were clear and obvious signs of discommunication, of disjointedness, and clearly we weren't together as we would like to be, and how this wasn't a, this wasn't a good locker room to be in, and all of these things, man, and that, 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 those are the things that I'll remember when he, um, when he goes to play in the NBA Finals, when Game 1 happens with the Heat and the Lakers, I'm going to be reminiscing what it was like with Jimmy Butler as a Chicago Bull. And I'll be cheering him on. I'm going to be cheering him on, man. I'm so excited for this. And of course, we do have Rajon Rondo on the other side of the coin, a former Bull as well. Um, only was here for a year or so, but made a good impact while he was here. But of course, it's Jimmy Butler, man. Like, this is the one. This is the one that's given so much to us for so long. And of course, it sucks. That it sucks that it's not us in the finals and we're gonna we still have a long way to go before we can even think about that but it's good to see a, a former player that's done us right make the nba finals and it's no secret what the bulls owner ownership and what the bulls management before arturius thought about him man it was no secret but it's not just the bulls isn't it look at other franchises the timberwolves man the timberwolves in my opinion were very very close to the re as a rebuild than us and they have the good, credible players. They have an all-star in Carl Anthony Towns. And all they needed was that one leader that was going to work hard, show up every day, and give everything he has to that team to make them better. And all of a sudden, that Timberwolves team collapsed without him. And not only that, he called out the bull over there as well. He called out all the situations where things were in trouble, where players weren't really living up to the mentality of working hard and getting what you want and, and achieving great things. He called out the Timberwolves for that and in the end he turned out to be right man because people said then can can Jimmy Butler lead the Wolves to an NBA Finals? Can Jimmy Butler lead the um, the Timberwolves past the first round? Can Jimmy Butler do this for the Timberwolves? So in the end, they they decided, no, nah, we're not we're not having this. He clearly wants to leave. Let's go. He goes to Philadelphia. Philadelphia was the best team when Jimmy Butler was there uh, in recent history, at least. When that was the best team that they had when they had Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, Ben Simmons, and Joel Embiid instead of Al Horford. Now, all of a sudden, that Philadelphia team looks worse than when Jimmy Butler wasn't there. And again, if they kept Jimmy Butler, we could have been talking about the 76ers and the Lakers in the finals. We very well could have been. But at the end of the day, they decided to go in a different direction. He wasn't worth the max contract. And now he's with the Heat. And Miami Heat do are uh, very extraordinary with their talent and creating a, a bond and relationship and a team-oriented experience. Eric Spolscher is one of the best head coaches in the NBA. They made this team run like, an, like a well-oiled machine, man. It kept on going. And from the start of the playoffs, he, they were the underdogs. With the Indiana Pacers, the underdogs. With the Milwaukee Bucks, the underdogs. With the Boston Celtics, the underdogs. And now they're going up in the NBA Finals against LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and the Los Angeles Lakers as the underdogs. And I'm extremely proud of Jimmy Butler for doing everything that he's done throughout his entire career. He's done amazing things with Chicago and accomplishments wise, but he's doing a lot in, in, other, in other colors as well. And I'm going to sit there and I'm going to support him. This is my appreciation post. He's done so much. He's changed the franchise of Chicago. In the end, I wish Jimmy Butler was still here. But, but whatever you guys think, he's in the NBA Finals right now. How many of our players right now have been in the NBA Finals? How many players in, in the past with, with, our, with the, our best team barely could make the NBA Finals? This is not easy to do. And Jimmy Butler, not only has he done it, he's led his team. It's not like he's one of the supporting cast. He is the leader of that team. And of course, that team is great. And that team could be... Any player could be the best player on any given night. And I think Jimmy Butler's even admitted that himself. There's ballers on that team. And we have taken them for granted for a long time. It's, 
the whole world, including myself, we've taken it, we've taken it advantage of the Miami Heat saying, yeah, they're young. They might not be ready. Maybe next year they'll be ready. Maybe in two years they'll be ready. Maybe, maybe they'll never be ready. They have that young mentality. But of course, with Jimmy Butler on that team, man, there's no time for that mentality. It's win now or go home. And I really am proud of where they are at the moment. Now, of course, will they win the NBA Finals? Will they win the championship? Will they will they uh, secure one of the, in my opinion, the most impressive Heat championship to ever, to ever come in basketball? If they do, wow. And, and I'm gonna make another video if that ever does happen. Uh, Look, it's the Lakers at the end of the day. We all know what the Lakers are going to bring. We all know LeBron James' mentality. We all know the Anthony Davis from Chicago as well. So a lot of people might not actually want the Heat to win from Chicago. But at the end of the day, one of our own Jimmy Butler, one of our own in Anthony Davis with Chicago. And this is this is going to be a great finals. And, and a lot of um, players that have contributed in, to the Bulls and contributed to Chicago in one way or another are going to collide here. I'm really excited about the NBA finals. But this is the Jimmy Butler appreciation post and you can bet I'll be rooting for the Miami Heat in this in this conference finals I don't think in this NBA finals. I don't think they're gonna win. I'm gonna be upfront with you guys I, I'm not gonna come out here and lie. I don't think they're gonna win But that doesn't mean I don't want them to win and it doesn't mean I don't think they can so I'm gonna be rooting for them I, I'm just so proud, whether it's a win or a loss, and I know this is not the mentality to have, especially if in Jimmy Butler's, in Jimmy Butler's mind. Um, it's not something that he's probably thinking, oh, win, lose, I'll be proud. But as a, as a supporter of Jimmy Butler, as a fan of the Chicago Bulls, and as a fan of Jimmy Butler, watching him from the outside, I am proud of what he and the Miami Heat have done. And Miami might not be my favorite team, but with Jimmy Butler, man, they make it a whole lot better to watch. So thank you guys for watching my Jimmy Butler appreciation post. At the end of the day, this video really had no point to it in terms of just appreciating Jimmy Butler. I'm not bringing out stats, not bringing out anything like that to try and entice you to go in a different way. If you guys want to watch this video and appreciate Jimmy Butler, then feel free. If you guys don't want to appreciate Jimmy Butler and feel like there's no point in this video, that's fine too. You guys can go on your, on your way and stay for another Chicago Bulls video, which will probably have a little bit more merit but at the end of the day this is the video that I wanted to make personally for myself so when I come back in a few years and I see this video hopefully I'll still be making YouTube videos if I see this video I'll look to myself man Jimmy Butler man that that dude's a baller that dude's a gun that dude's a machine that's what I that, that's that's this is the video for me and hopefully for a bunch of other people that that feel proud of Jimmy Butler and um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Have a wonderful day. There will be more Bulls videos coming. I promise you there will be. So stay tuned. I ain't going anywhere. But this video was specifically just for the NBA Finals and Jimmy Butler. I might see you guys in terms of Jimmy Butler after the Finals. I might not. Have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.